I mean, I teach this, I try to live this, and then every now and then, I find, you know, I gotta tighten it up a little bit, because I'll go somewhere to speak, and then I wake up the next, well, that's the thing, the next morning comes, and I do not want to wake up. <laughs> I need more sleep. I want breakfast in bed and cartoons and my mummy. <laughs> so that's pretty much what I do. I call my mom, I turn on cartoons, and if I can afford it at the time, I order breakfast in bed. So no problem, right? Or I can kind of jump into the role, oh, I'm the spiritual teacher, I, I don't tire, right? I don't need help, I've got it all. That's the amazing thing about the way we're built as people, is that anything can turn into a hook. Being a rabbi, being a psychologist, being a doctor, being a mother, being a construction worker, the problem is when suddenly it's like the identity replaces the essence, the role, the responsibility. So the simple conclusion is there's nothing wrong with having roles, there's nothing wrong with having ideas who, of who we are, and there's certainly nothing wrong or unnatural about having habits, but the question is, what are they feeding? Where do they come from? Because if they don't feed your essence, look out. <laughs>